The rules of the Giro provide for a feeding station about 60 miles into each stage. The support teams can give their riders food only at these specified points. This usually consists of a packet of sandwiches, fruit, cold tea and mineral water. And the Giro has its traditions. Among them, the rider's habit of going into any inn or restaurant along the route and taking anything they want in the way of soft drinks. The owners of these places usually feel quite flattered. It's mostly the younger members of a team who keep their captain and star riders supplied with drinks, which is why they were originally called water boys, though the name now means much more than this. The water boys have become teammates who support their captain in all tactical areas of the race and see to it that he doesn't waste his energy unnecessarily. They train just as hard as he does, make the same effort and share the same risks. Each stage carries prizes for places as far down as 20th, which the winners usually divide with their teammates. A first prize might be no more than a few hundred pounds, but victory is worth many times that in terms of appearance money, and much more important, in advertising contracts. So, while a water boy might be paid 5,000 a year by his stable, the real money, for someone like Merckx, is between three to 400,000 a year. We're on the sixth stage from Toronto to...